wanna get shot and blue. Hi loves, it's Melinda Celine and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season and that is the best part about the holidays is just making memories with all of your loved ones. So I hope you guys ate a lot and are super excited for the new year. I am too. So I decided to make a planner video today based around my Kate Speed planner because I do want to put new inserts in and I also want to decorate it. So I want to show you guys how I set it up as well as how I decorated it to spread on my Erin Condren planners. I have been using the Happy Planner for this past year, but I have been getting so many requests to do more Erin Condren planner spreads. So I'm going to go back and forth between both of them and I'm going to do spreads for you guys on how I decorated and how I organized it for both the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren planner. And if you guys want a link to the planners that I'm talking about, I'll have all that information down in the description box below and let's get started. This is my Kate Spade Well Leslie planner and it is a zip round which is great for on the go so nothing will come out and all the inserts inside are protected. I haven't changed the inserts in such a long time so the first thing that I did was take everything out. Pretty much like cleaning out a closet, just throw away all the things that you don't need and just kind of go through everything. If you guys want to see my setup or the inserts that I have inside, I have a whole video about it and I'll have that in a link down below. I've been through a lot of different inserts and my favorite ones are these from Kate Spade. So I went to the outlet store and I found it for a cheaper price. I think they were 40% off and what I'm going to do is just take them out and just take the first two months of the year. That way my planner is not so bulky and the remaining of the month I'm going to add them into another planner that's empty. That way I can switch them off and I could save all the pages because last year I had them all over the place and I lost track of where I put them. And I want to look back on these and remember them, especially if I took the time to decorate them. This planner is from Sunday Dots and she handmade this herself. I'll also have her information down in the description box below. When it gets to the more springtime, I plan to switch it out to this planner. So for right now, we're going to put it aside. And now I'm going to make the front page of my planner just because I think it looks so pretty and decorative. I went ahead and looked through different scrapbook paper, different quotes that I had, some journaling cards, and I just trimmed it down to size, hole punched it, and put it by my planner. And I wasn't sure what theme I wanted to go for, but I did want something that was different. So I did play around with different ones. And then I came across this picture of both of my fur babies and I was like, I totally want them on the front cover of my page. A cute little picture and I thought this was adorable. I also found these little inserts where you can put Polaroid pictures if you'd like. And so I just went ahead and put it in there and I thought that was extremely personal and I can carry them around with me when I do my errands. So I went ahead and I put that on there. I also got this cute little cutout that I got from a set and I just wrote down their names and and totally personalize my planner. I rounded out the corners and I also wanted to add a little bit more of decals. I wanted to pick up the black and the pink for my planner. So I went with this really cute pink heart which I have all of my stickers organized in a photo album. It's something super simple that you could do. That way you can look at all of your stickers and then afterwards I laminated it, hole punched it and inserted right in front. You can use this planner as a wallet as well. I know a lot of people do. That's why there are some card slots in there for you to put your credit cards or anything like that. But I like to decorate mine. So I just grabbed some journaling cards and some decorative scrapbook paper and I put fun paper clips in there. I also like adding sticky notes behind a scrap piece of paper or some page flags as well. And since the front page is laminated, on the other side you can add some sticky notes for some quick notes while on the go. I'm sure a lot of you guys have these notepads from Target's One Spot or Joanne Fabrics or even Michael's and since we do have quite a lot, I like to insert these inside my planner and use them as daily to-do list. I just go ahead and trim them down to size, hole punch it, and stick them in and I don't feel bad about writing in them, throwing them away, using them as quick notes. And then in the front of my planner, I also like to keep address labels when I run my errands, also some stamps, and some weight loss stickers. That way I can keep track of my workouts as well. In the back of my planner, I also have a cute little zip bag that I got from the Heidi Swap collection. And all I did was add a bunch of stickers that I use on a daily basis to run my errands and cute little reminders as well. 
So that is how I set up my Kate Spade planner for right now. I think it looks like a Valentine's Day theme. I couldn't help it. I just went off the colors of my planner. I would love to see how you set up yours and how you decorate yours. So make sure to use a hashtag planning with Belinda so I can see your pictures and like them. And they might even be shared on my Instagram account as well. Alright, now let's move along to decorating our Erin Condren planner. And I'm going to decorate the second week in January just because I'm saving that first week for a New Year's Day theme. And I really wanted to go out, all out and be super girly. These washi tapes right here come in a set and they are from the Happy Planner, which they are beyond adorable. I was dying to use this mint one with the gold hearts. So that is what I'm going to base it off of. And then I'm going to grab this sticker sheet from Fabulous designs and she has some of the absolute cutest stickers you will ever find and she gave me a coupon code as well so all of that down below I'm just gonna decorate my planner with some washi tape cover up the theme which is like an orange and a blue which is not what I'm going for so I'm gonna go ahead and try to cover it up because I do want it to be my own theme I really want the color palette to be all different kinds of colors like blue and pink with floral prints and stripes and these stickers are just perfect for that so I'm gonna go ahead and add them on the days where I know I don't have a lot going on inspirational quotes help me get through tough days and also just remind me of the things that I have to do and it just gives me that sort of inspiration and motivation to do things that I need to get done in my planner so I love decorating with these quotes and this sticker book is actually from the happy planner as well so I'm gonna go ahead and just decorate it with that all over my planner. I think my color palette needed a pop of pink of color, so I went back with some washi tape and added it to the bottom. This right here is a coil clip hack, and these are just tabs that you use for binders or books or anything like that. They're less than $3, and it comes with a whole bunch of them. So what I do is I just stick it to the back of my journaling cards, and if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that I love these for bookmarks not only that but also for additional notes so I just mark where the holes are with the ruler that it comes with and then I hole punch it with a 1 8 of an inch hole puncher then I cut little slits where the holes are that way I can just slide it into my planner and the best part about this is that it's repositionable and you could use this multiple times if you'd like all right, let's decorate one more weekly spread and we're gonna jump right into it. I'm going to hole punch this scrapbook paper into little banners and I'm going to add this to the dates on top just to make it a little bit more decorative. And this week's color palette is going to be light pinks and gold, which is one of my favorites. I just feel like it looks so feminine and very soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate with some washi tape to cover up the blue and the orange on the spread. Now that I'm done decorating it with washi tape, I'm going to grab those banners that we punched out previously and I'm going to adhere them to the top of the page and then later on I'm going to write in the dates. Now I love this side of my planner and I wanted something that was light and both of the colors. That way I can still write some notes in there so I just use this really pretty scrapbook paper, trim it to size and then adhere it to the side. I also like securing that scrap piece of paper with some tape and look at it, it's so gorgeous. This one is from Kiki K and I just love how it stands out. Once again, I'm going to be using Favi's stickers and these are just so pretty and they totally go with the theme of my planner. I also love these other ones right here from Obsessed with Cute but I wanted to save those for a different spread. So I'm going to use these for right now that way I can savor the stickers. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like you want to make sure that you don't use them unwisely <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with the stickers from the happy planner and it gets some quotes from there and this one was perfect I fell in love with this one because not only is it a gold foil but it has a quote on it and it's a hard shape and then I went in with some more quotes and just put a little bit more decals on top forgot to write down the days of the week so don't forget to do that if you do the cute little banners or any other punch outs and also make sure that you're writing down the correct date. 
I always love decorating my planner with some paper clips and these are all the Disney princesses which I love so I grabbed the princesses that match the same color palette so this is Belle and Ariel and this made me super happy I am a Disney fanatic freak and I love these little clips right here and yeah that is all for this spread I hope you guys liked it I'll be okay. hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are new to my channel also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with my videos and when I upload them which is about twice a week so I will talk to you guys next time muchos besos Mwah.